Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my trying a new makeup product everyday series. This is a product that is a little intimidating to me. It's different. It's from Maybelline and it's the Tattoo Studio Brow Lift Stick. So this is one of the new products that I got at Walmart. So I'm very intrigued by brow products. I love trying out new brow products and I love filling in my brows. I am so picky, but I think I'm a little behind the trend with brows and it's really hard for me to change up my brows. So even on the packaging here, like the before and the after, I love how the before looks <laughs> compared to the after. The after has like the brushed up brows, which is I guess the brow trend, but it's just not something I'm really into. Even when I see it on other people, I just don't love the look of it. But who knows, in time that could totally change because the way I feel in my brows now, I used to hate. But I got this in the shade Blonde. This doesn't come in very many shades. It also comes in a clear, but basically I think it's just like a brow wax to hold your brows in place. And I like to fill in and shape my brows. So we'll see how I actually feel about this. However, I think I do have good brows to do that feathered brow trend because I have long brow hairs and I could really make them look like this picture. Maybe I should try it. <laughs> so like I was saying, I got this at Walmart for $9.98. And I mean, this looks really cool. This like triangle brush on the end. Let's see how that looks. And then on the other end, we've got a twist up wax, which I wanna do a swatch. It looks like a great color for me. Oh man. That actually has like very little pigment to it. Yeah, I'm not sure that this is going to really work, but we'll see. I'm gonna start out with a little brush here. It says to use this brush to lift the brow hairs, which like, I definitely can lift my brow hairs, but this brush is actually very hard to use because of the way the packaging is, like this bottom part here, it kind of gets in the way of actually reaching my brow hairs. That's weird. Like I would prefer a spoolie. This doesn't even work that well, but okay. Flipping it around, I'm gonna take the wax. <laughs> it definitely does stick the brows down. <laughs> I'm like instinctively wanting to smooth them over. Yeah, it's not really filling in the brows, but it's really sticking them down. So, flipping it back over to the brush. I mean, I guess that's that's what that's what they want you to do with this. <laughs> I can't though. That's just not it's just not me. But let's see if I do brush it over, like how I like my brow hairs to be, how it looks. I mean, this really doesn't fill in the brows much at all. You can see with it versus without it, a slight tint of difference, but I'm like, wow, I have like a bald spot right in the middle there. And it doesn't really give as much shape, but it definitely gives hold, but it kind of looks very noticeable in the brow since it it really sticks them down. You can fluff them up a little bit with the end here. I don't know. For $10, this reminds me a lot of the e.l.f. brow wax stick that I found at the Dollar Tree a while ago. And I would say that's just as good. Like you don't have to spend $10 on a little wax stick like this. When the brush on the end isn't even any better than a spoolie to brush the brows up. So I'm just not really falling for this one. It's fine to just kind of hold the brows in place with a little bit of color, but nothing all that special. 
I do kind of want to try this out with filling in my brows with the pencil. So I'm just reaching into my brow <laughs> drawer here. I'm going to pull out the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Taupe. And I'm going to quickly fill in this other brow so we can see if this brow wax can work on top of a brow pencil because for me that's really going to be the use that I'll find for this but if not this product is probably going to be a no from me but let's see because I always like to fill in my brows with a pencil and then I top them off with a brow gel and this tinted wax seems like it could be great for that brow gel step. Okay, so now that I have the brow filled in the shape that I want, let's see how this wax is. It does help to emphasize the brow hairs. I can see that more now that I've filled it in with a pencil. And I like when my brow gels emphasize the hairs, makes them look a little thicker, even a little darker for the brows to just look more full. And it didn't remove the pencil underneath. So I actually really like the look of this because it doesn't give like a, a crunchy feel to the brows. It doesn't leave any visible product, but it has the hold that I'm looking for. And this blonde color does go perfectly with my brow color. So even though this is not the use for this as the brow gel on top, I actually really like it for that purpose. And that's what I'm going to use this for, at least for now, until I get on board with <laughs> the more natural feather stick up brow look because this is what I like and this looks ideal to me. So yay, I do have a use for this. If you have tried this out, let me know how it works for you. Let me know what kind of uses you have found with this. But for this use here, I just go back to, I don't think you need to spend $10 to get this, but I like it enough to keep it and keep using it like this. So thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.